What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 20 minute deep stretch for sore muscles. So have a seat on your mat and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today taking this time for yourself and for your body to make sure we're getting good stretches in, okay? I challenge you each week to take this stretch or any of the stretches and do them daily, if not minimum three times per week, okay? Your body needs this, your mind needs this time as well, and I promise your workouts and the functionality in your life will improve drastically if you just start incorporating these regularly, okay? That's the trick. So we're gonna get started today in a seated position, so come on down to the floor. Okay, we're gonna take left leg out, or left leg in, right leg out to the side. Okay, give me your left hand up top, and as you exhale, I want you to reach over to your right leg in two, one, here we go. There you go, we're gonna start with the legs and the low back hip area. Okay, we'll work around today. Over the course of the stretch, we'll hit all the muscles in the body. Okay, or all the kind of general regions. Come back and fold right over top of your bent leg. Great job. Now everyone's gonna be at a different level of flexibility, of mobility, so there's no requirement to be here today. Go ahead and roll it back up and arch it over. The only requirement is that you go where you feel stretched. So if that's here, that's fine. If it's all the way down to the floor, also fine. Okay, just make sure you're doing what stretches you, what pushes you. Great job, and come right into the middle, fold right over top that bent leg. You can reach out to the side to get your chest flat. You can reach forward. Just do what works best for you. Big inhale. Exhale, roll it back up, and we're just gonna switch sides. Okay, so take your left leg out to the side, tuck your right foot in, right hand is up and we arch it over. So you can do a couple different things with your bottom arm. Sometimes I'll take mine over and cross it here. Other times I'll take it out to the side as well. Just play with those positions. And if you need a little bit of extra support, you can always put it here on your thigh. Great job, bring it into the middle. Fold right out front over top of your bent leg. And hopefully you're feeling this in your inner thigh, as well as your glute, your hamstring, and your hips. Great job, roll it back up and we go right back out. And play with those positions. You can do one arm right out here, stretching towards the toe as well. You can also cross here. Great job. Give me five, four, three, two, and one, and we're right back into the middle. Good, try and work on getting your chest and your belly button towards the floor. Beautiful, roll it back in, and I want you to open up both legs now. So we're taking heels out to the side. Okay, with the open leg stretch, I'm gonna challenge you to anteriorly rotate your pelvis. So thinking about pulling your belly button down to the floor and then rolling forward in this stretch. So let's go ahead and go out together. Even if you can only get to the point where you're here seated and you get up too straight, I just want you pulling your belly button towards this mat as much as you can. Good, try and relax your glutes. You'll try to feel, or you will probably feel your glutes. Try and flex here to push you. Just try and relax the muscles here. I really wanna hit inner thigh. Okay, push back up, big deep breath. Good, one more big deep breath on your next exhale. Let's go back out. Belly button forward and down. Think about leading the way, leading the trail to your mat with your belly button. Good job. Here you go, roll it back up, great job. And now we're gonna take kind of the opposite 
of that anterior hip rotation, okay? So when we just did our previous stretch, we rolled our hips forward. Now I'm gonna challenge you to bring your feet together, grab onto your toes and roll your hips backwards, okay? Get a nice good stretch around the shoulder blades, drop your chin to your chest. Great job, and just keep pushing your back away from your toes. You'll feel it up around your shoulder blades and your neck and your traps. Good, relax for a second. Same thing here, you can play with positions if you wanna crisscross your legs and hold onto your knees, you can do that too. Okay, so let's float back again, whatever position you're in, in two, one, exhale. Great job. Just relax, I know it looks very, very rolled up right now, very kind of squished here, like you're trying to smash your chest down, but what we're doing is just reaching our shoulder blades back, our spine back, so that all the muscles in our back kind of relax. It's a tough spot to hit the upper back and the traps. Good, push your shoulders kind of downward toward the floor. Three, two, one, awesome, great job. Legs are straight out, and we're just going through some major muscle groups here at first, okay? So legs straight out, pull your toes back towards you, and go as low as you can. You can round your back here, totally fine. Here we go. This is one of the stretches, I think. It's just a baseline stretch. It's kind of, in the mobility world, one of the stretches we should always include, just hamstring stretches. Great job, come on up. And let's go down one more time as you exhale, reach. Good, and the better you get at the stretch, the more you'll tend to see, okay, if I straighten my back and then I go down, I can really feel it pretty deep in my hamstrings too. Keep breathing. Amazing. Stay here, take your chin as low as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and beautiful, good job. All right, let's take the right leg, bring it over top of the left knee. I want you to turn onto the outside of that leg, twist and rotate, just a little torso rotation here. Nice tall spine, twist, and then you can round it out a little bit, twist. Good job, let's switch it over to the other side. Foot is right outside of your knee, twist. Good, so you'll hear me say tall spine, rounded spine. That mainly refers to middle upper back. So if I say tall spine, you're gonna straighten that up nice and tall. If you round it out, you can kind of slouch a little bit and still get that good rotation. Great job. All right, let's switch back to the other leg. And now instead of twisting over, I want you to fold this leg down so that your leg is right above your knee, okay? Kind of like you're making a big four. And then I want you to fold over top here. Good job. And if this feels good, you can go a little deeper by pressing this knee down. So now we're hitting kind of hip psoas area. A very common request hips, hamstrings, and so as refers a lot of pain into the low back or in the groin area. So just trying to get this whole area kind of relaxed for you in as many ways as I can. Good job, come on up and switch. Crossing it right over, okay. Fold over top when you get there and when you are ready. And then if you can go a little bit deeper, place your hand on your knee and push downward as you go down. Great job, guys. I hope you're feeling good. Keep remembering this feeling right here. You're taking a couple minutes for yourself today. Remember how good you're starting to feel now. And right when we're done with the stretch, Great job. All right, let's flip it over onto your stomach. So you can come on over to hands and knees first. 
and then drop it down to your belly. Okay, hips down, chest up, pressing the ground away. If you need a modification, you're gonna go right here on your elbows, pressing the ground up and away. Okay, but let's go there first. And just relax. Make sure your feet are straight back from your hips. Beautiful. And lower back down. Good job. Big inhale. Exhale, push up again. There we go. I want you to gaze right over your right shoulder. Good, really forcing the opposite hip down. So if I'm looking over my right, I'm pushing my left hip down to the floor. And let's go ahead and switch. Other side, and then press the opposite side down towards the floor. Good, back in the middle, look up. And lower back to the ground, good job. Big deep breath. Hopefully your low back is nice and relaxed. Sometimes after that stretch, I like to just lay here, kind of breathe, I'll let my low back relax. All right, let's push back up into hands and knees and then shift your weight back into a child's pose, using your hands to press into the floor. Good, come back into tabletop and let's go cat and cow. And we'll do a couple of these rotations, just again for your low back. Good, one more. And you can look up and then look down, chin to chest, tuck your hips up and sit it back down. Good job. Beautiful work. Keep pressing back. I hope you feel some space in your shoulders and your ribs right here. Good, lift it back up into tabletop and we're back again to rolling your belly and hips forward towards the ground and look up. And then tuck your chin, lift up high. Good job. Awesome work. All right, give me your left foot right up top outside your left hand. Push the hip down towards the floor. Okay, and if you need to, when you straighten your chest up, you can put your hand here on the front knee. Good job. Make sure you're pulling your belly button back so your belly is not relaxed and arched out, but it is pulled in here. Okay, a nice neutral pelvis so that as you push this hip flexor in the top of your quad, get a really good stretch. Good work, come on back. And I want you to shift your hip back to that back knee and fold over top of your front straight leg. Beautiful, let's go back out again. Front leg comes back to bent position. Tuck your hips under, rotate forward, and then touch down if you can. And work on keeping yourself nice and straight too. So if from the front, it kind of looks like this for you, it's not necessarily doing so much for just that hip flexor. So make sure you're straight here, okay? And as you go down, you don't let your knee cave out too much. Both have good benefits, but for now, I just want you to stay straight, really get the stretch here. Great job, and go ahead and bend your back leg. Front leg is nice and straight. And we'll do just one more lower body stretch on this side of your leg. Or this, this leg on this side of your body. Good, all right. So your weight is on the back knee right now. I want you to tuck your front leg underneath. You have options, okay? 
First option is you can just stay right here, just kind of inch yourself down. What we're going for is this bent leg so as on the other side. So you can go here. If you can get your hips down to the floor and go a little lower, you can go here. Okay, but what we want is this hip facing the ground. Okay, so go to where it stretches you and then slowly make your way until your spine is over top of your shin or it's nice and straight. This will look different for everyone. Okay, but we've got about a 30 second hold here. So just make sure you get to where it pushes you and constantly make sure you're checking in on this hip, pushing towards the ground to make sure you're level here. Okay, a level tailbone is gonna give us the best stretch for that bent leg side. Great job. For the last 10, just go a little bit lower, spine closer to your shin. Four, three, two, one, and perfect. All right, so we'll flow back through the other side. Okay, so that front leg now becomes the back leg in your runner's lunge. Okay, so we're shifting it forward here. All right, neutral hips, remember? And we go down, keeping it nice and straight. Keeping your back knee straight back from your back hip. Great job. Keep pressing it down, you're doing good. Big deep breath in. Exhale, push the weight back to your back knee. Front leg is straight and we fold over top. Great job. Hope you're feeling good. I hope you're pushing yourself here in this stretch. Two, one, and come back into the runner's lunge. Okay, tuck the tailbone, reach the hips forward. There we go. Just keep your knee in line. Hips are driving to the front. You really feel this in your hip, your groin, the top of your quad and that back leg. And good, go ahead and push it back. Front leg is straight, fold over top of it. Flex your toe up towards your knee. Great job. All right, let's swing it underneath for our stretch with the psoas in mind. Okay, so starting point is here. If you're here, still both hips face the ground. If you can go a little lower, make your way down a little lower. And again, equal hips. So make sure you're not open here. Okay, roll the hip towards the ground. Your chest and your hips are facing forward. And then make your way down to your lowest position gradually. Okay, you've got 30 seconds here to just get as low as you can. And then we'll move into upper body, shoulders, back and neck. Great job, a little lower if you can in some way. Keep driving that hip down. There you go, 10 more seconds. Big deep breath in. Reach, 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 two, one. All right, beautiful. Let's make our way back into the center. Crisscross applesauce or you can stand. We're gonna start with the shoulders. Okay, so give me your left arm right across the front of your body. Keep your spine and your chest nice and straight. Pull backwards on this arm. So you feel this in your shoulder, your tricep, even into the back muscles. And what you wanna avoid is letting this arm bend, so you're just kind of hugging it. Keep it really straight and use this arm to pull that straight arm and then fight your chest against that twist. So don't let your upper body twist as well. Okay, good, switch arms. Great job, straight chest. Perfect, let's switch one more time. Over, 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 keep your chest straight. Good, last switch here.
and perfect. Take that arm up over top and switch other side over top. Good, take your hands down to your legs and I just want you to drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Stay right here, work on keeping this shoulder down and use your hand to pull on top. Great job, come back to the middle and let's switch it over, keep this shoulder down left ear to left shoulder, pull. And rest, come back into the middle. Notice how your body feels right now. And more importantly, notice the areas where you really felt this stretch, okay? There were definitely certain points where I thought, okay, I'm pretty tight here. Um, for me, I felt it neck and trap and shoulders there at the end, so I'm going to make sure I continue to do those daily just to make myself feel better, make sure I'm doing the work that I need to do to make sure my body feels and functions its best, okay? So take note of those areas for yourself. Um, I'm sure a lot of you saw hamstrings, glutes and hips, lower back area. I get those requests a lot, but whatever it was for you, come back to this stretch. Go to the stretch playlist on the channel where I have a lot of specified stretches, so maybe it is just a hips, back, and hamstring stretch. Maybe it is a neck and shoulder stretch. I have a ton of full body, just total body deep stretches as well, hitting these same big areas. So make sure you do this, okay? Not a suggestion, but a requirement for your best body and your most mobile workouts. The best range of motion and the best muscular development comes from that full range of motion, okay? And that's how we get there. So make sure you check those out, the stretch playlist and any one that you need specifically. Make sure before you head out today, you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn the bell notification on so you never miss a workout with me. I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye guys. Yeah.